Here's another food that fools deviled eggs. Hello everyone, starting off with a small bowl, half a cup of milk, and on top of that you will sprinkle one half ounce or two packets of unsweetened, unflavored gelatin. Sprinkle it on the top, let it sit for about five, six minutes until most of that liquid has been absorbed by the gelatin and you don't see any more dry gelatin. Now in a medium sized saucepan, place half a cup of milk and pour in one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and one half teaspoon of almond extract for flavoring. This is optional. Then stir this together, then take this pot and you're gonna place it on medium low heat and you're gonna to begin to heat it and stirring continuously until it starts to get hot. And as soon as it starts to get hot, you will put in that gelatin milk mixture. You can see how it's absorbed most of that liquid. Put that in there and begin to stir gently over medium low and the mixture will get very hot and but you don't want it to boil. So just continue to stir until all the gelatin is dissolved and it could be that you'll get some specks of gelatin that will just simply refuse to be dissolved. And if that's the case, then I suggest you take your pot and just pour that through a strainer and it'll get rid of any little bits of gelatin that did not dissolve. Now. Pro tip here, take that strainer and put it into some hot soapy water right away because if you let it sit and it solidifies, it's really hard to clean. Now I'm transferring the mixture into a measuring cup just because it had a spout on it, it'd be easier to pour. And then we're gonna pour it into some molds. Now these are silicone molds. I've lightly greased them with a little bit of cooking spray and then I'm gonna fill them in. They're actually the size of a large egg, like a large egg will fit in there just perfectly. If you don't want to get silicone molds or don't have them, you can actually use those deviled egg trays that hold deviled eggs because most of the time those deviled egg trays have an egg shaped indentation in them and you could just use those as a mold. So I bought these on, on Amazon, they weren't that much and I'll be able to use them for another, maybe another recipe like perhaps for Easter. Once they're filled up, you're gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them chill until it's set. And this amount of liquid made 15 of these uh, deviled egg halves. Now while that's chilling, you can go ahead and make the egg yolk part, which is actually just a frosting. You could use plain white frosting if you wanted to and just tinted a little bit, tinted yellow. Um, I did a cream cheese one like they did on the website where I found this idea. That is four ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, quarter cup of butter, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I just beat those things together until they were nice and creamy. And then I beat in two cups of powdered sugar a little bit at a time. And if you find it that it's too stiff, you could always add a tiny bit of milk or cream to this. I didn't have to, I found that it was just perfect the way it was with that amount of powdered sugar. Now we're gonna tint this to the color of deviled egg yolk. So I'm adding a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow, probably more yellow than orange, but I started off with about equal numbers of drops of each. And then I continue to beat this and then you just, you just add yellow or orange to get the color that you want. And I added a little bit more yellow after this particular stage. You just want it to look like deviled egg filling. And it really does look like deviled egg filling. Now here are our egg whites that have firmed up in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna pop these out. They popped out quite nicely, as you can see. They come pop right out of the mold. And then you're going to take a spoon. In this case, I'm using a melon baller because it's the perfect size. And it's, it acts like a little cookie cutter almost. And I just kind of pressed it in to cut into the egg white and then scooped it out. Be gentle when you're scooping these things out because these are actually a little bit on the delicate side. Then we're gonna fill in that cavity with the frosting that we made. Now I put mine in a piping bag with a star tip and I piped it in. Now that's what I would actually do if I was making regular deviled eggs, so it looks very authentic. And then I sprinkled with a little bit of orange powdered food color because most deviled eggs have a little bit of paprika sprinkled on top of them. Now a little note about how delicate these are. 
what happens is, is you fill them. And if you have to try to pick them up to move them, as soon as you pick them up, they kind of squish and the whites actually will fold and stick to one another and it'll kind of deform. So when you make these, fill them on the actual serving plate that you're going to serve them to and that way they'll stay nice. Uh, to get around this, I think if I were to make these again, I would use three quarters of an ounce of gelatin to an ounce of gelatin just so that the egg whites were a little bit stiffer. But overall though, they look fantastic. I put these in the refrigerator after I was done and then we had dinner at my house and my husband said, well, why didn't you put those deviled eggs on the table that you made? And I went, oh, the deviled eggs in the fridge? He said, yeah. I said, those, those are for dessert. They're not real deviled eggs. And he was actually really surprised because he thought they were real. In today's intro was a whole bunch of food that fools recipes that I've already done. They're all on a playlist if you're looking for some fun recipes to try. Thank you so much for watching.